Hey everybody, this is Ranger Rob, and thank you for stopping by. And uh, yeah, today uh, is a uh, honey-do list kind of thing day. Uh, I did get my uh, 10 gallon uh, potato bags in, so we'll be planting more potatoes. Uh, and uh, we've been actually working on getting this room a little bit more under control and uh, more organized and got a lot of older stuff out of here that wasn't ours and uh, it's kind of nice we're starting to get some room here uh, so far the floating raft is doing all right I had to replant some of the uh, spinach but uh, I think we're doing all right uh, everything on the uh, trays here are doing good very happy about that and uh, let's uh, let's go outside and uh, RV is in tip-top shape very happy about that and today I uh, got more shipments in but I uh, went to the box so I won't see them for a little while so I'm not sure what I got but I uh, uh, need to water the onions today check the towers oh and I turned on the watering system for all the yard so uh, the challenge to that is because uh, we've had so many of our water spigots damaged from the contractors. I had to, I was running around here at nighttime with the flashlight, chasing each channel it turned on, uh, make sure nothing was spraying on the house. It actually came out pretty good. I also uh, knew we had some sprinklers over by the towers, so at about 10 o'clock at night, I waited for that one to come on. And sure in heck, there was once that was shooting the towers, and I can't have that. So I just put a put a, a bucket over it. One of the reasons I uh, turned on the water is it's a little early, but our grass is really crunchy. So it's just telling me it's really dry. Even though uh, it's been cold or windy, we're not getting rain, nor have we gotten much snow. So our grass is thirsty. And I can already see it greening up. You know what that means. Lawn mowing time. But uh, last night when the cycles were going on with the water system. One of these sprinklers we discovered was right here where this bucket is. So the only way I could control it from hitting the towers was to put a bucket over it for now. So uh, it's kind of funny. But uh, uh, all in all... Uh, Everything's good. I'm glad the water system didn't freak out, didn't have any major, uh, I mean, I got a lot of uh, repairs to do on the sprinkler systems, but nothing that's going to hurt the house or anything, so, or crucial to any certain plants, so, yeah. And uh, so I'm coming out here, I'm going to turn on the pump, run a little bit of nutrients on the uh, strawberries here and then do some other chores. All right, another quick uh, follow-up is I actually added a fourth uh, aerator to these tanks. Uh, I had two small ones. Uh, they should suffice. I was like, shouldn't have to spend any more money on anything else than I should. So, uh, yeah, so all the aerator systems ready. Just gotta test it. All right, guys, so I turned those on. Those little aerators definitely don't do as much as those big ones do I may have to go ahead and switch them out to the other ones but uh, it's all about putting the air in the uh, in the water so it should be all right so uh, that's all a go all looks good so uh, next thing we got to do is build the float rafts and uh, Still waiting for the weather to warm up a little bit. We're getting really close and we'll be ready to fire it up. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob again and I am interrupting this show because I've been interrupted five times. Is it a house sell? Well, you guys know when I'm doing my shows and outside and all that stuff, every once in a while I'll sit down and just kind of rap with you about things going on and why we're homesteading and why we're prepping and all that stuff. Well, anyway, so I decided to sit down and I started talking about a subject that apparently the uh, internet gods did not like. And so 
Uh, I thought I'd do a different version of it. I'll be abbreviating a lot, but one of the things is we're always talking about homesteading and, and, and prepping and why we're trying to be self-reliant and things like that. So I thought I'd kind of sit down because one of the things that kind of caught my attention this morning in the news was it was trying to make Washington, D.C. a state, and we know why they're doing that so they can be more powerful and, and get more uh, representatives in, uh, in the different uh, houses. And, uh, you know, it's just going to keep going because it's just super power hungry. Uh, they, they really want control. I mean, it's not like being close is good enough. It's got to be over the top. But what it also is going on is last night I watched a really good uh, video done by Glenn B. from the B's, <laughs> B-L, uh, uh, E's. And uh, anyway... I'm going to put the link in the description below so you guys can go see it. And it really does a good explanation of what's going on with our money. And, uh, and it's really scary because uh, if we are, this, if they have to switch us and, and, and the, the numbers we keep seeing on primary TV is not really the true numbers. Um, uh, like our inflation, you know, is higher than 2%. And we know that we're going to get hit with really bad inflation. And uh, we also know that our uh, we're spending way too much and our debt is terrible and they're spending like crazy and it's, and, and they know it. And, uh, but there's an end result is eventually they want to do a change to our money system to go D uh, dig. And uh, uh, when that happens, you know, and when or if that happens, it probably for sure, um, that will be kind of like an exchange. So let's say you've got a hundred thousand dollars in the bank, and they decide, all right, we're going to this kind of money now, uh, but we're only going to pay you three, you know, three thirty cents on the dollar, or something like that. So your hundred thousand in a bank would be just suddenly reduced, just poof, into a uh, 30,000. And uh, <laughs> this has happened before when we broke away from the England in 1776 uh, or, you know, year prior or after that, uh, the money exchange for royal money to colonial money was kind of like that. And of course the people took it, took it in the uh, <laughs> bottom side uh, and didn't come out too well. And the same thing happened in the Civil War with the money there from the um, the south side to the north. Their exchange was terrible. And then we had another incident where we had to change our uh, money was changed. And it always does, does not turn out well for us little peoples. So how do you, you know, and, and you know, we're not here to tell you how to fix your 401ks or how to deal with your cash and all that kind of stuff. All we're trying to do is like, what can we do proactive to be prepared for change that it's a, a, a situation we're not winning. And so it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. And we're going to have this hyper inflation uh, stuff um, going on. And, uh, and I'm watching my words and uh, it could get really ugly. So what can well, prepping and being prepared, having a lot of our own staples at our own houses and, and, and building up, um, possibly putting some of your cash uh, in a safe place at your home. Um, also, maybe looking at getting some gold or silver. Uh, that's always recognized no matter what's going on. And uh, being more self-sufficient and, and, and being less dependent on the government and get, your, get rid of your loans because then the banks own you. So these are all things you can work on. And the thing I'm kind of pushing is we need, I think it's getting, I always, I've always told people do it at your own speed, whatever stuff, but with elections in 2022 and a chance they could lose power in some of the house Congress or house um, could cause them to panic, to push some of this stuff faster between now and 2002. 22. And uh, so this could happen very fast. And uh, all of us are just going to be going, what, you know, we'll be like deer, deer in the, <laughs> in the headlights. You know, what, what happened today? I have money. Uh, yes. 
money today don't um and we don't want that to happen and, and but it's going to happen to all of us in one way or another it's just how can we take the pain away so first of all no fear we're not doing fear here we're not trying to scare anybody what we're saying is be proactive is study this stuff and and watch the video i linked to in the description uh which does a very good breakdown of uh, the actual numbers of things that you need to know about and uh, glenn does a great job on that and uh, whether you love him or hate him, he does special shows that does the research of things that uh, and digs, digs, digs and gets us the numbers we really need to know about inflation and all those kind of things. And so, um, yes, our show is playful. Our show is about homesteading and prepping. It, but why are we doing it? It's because we want to be self-sufficient and we want to be self-reliant and we don't want to uh, – uh, always be catering to the government and we don't want to uh, be subject to really bad prices when food starts rising and stuff like that. The more that we can do for ourselves, the better we'll get through this kind of stuff. And, it, you know, it's not like we'll be the first ones to ever go through something like this. And this is a worldwide problem. It's not just us, but uh, um, obviously we have to deal with our issues at our place. So, uh, but yeah, it's across the board. So anyway, I tried five times to get a video up. I modified it over and over and over. But this little piece I did at the end of the video kept getting uh, censored. And so I'm hoping this thing here, the way I'm doing it now, is it will get by. And if you're seeing this video, it means I got by the censors. And uh, it's, and that's sad. And, and like, uh, I've never had trouble ever. Um, and I even have radio shows that are more controversial than what I'm talking about. And uh, it's getting worse. And if I'm having this problem, I'm just a measly little country living sh uh, uh, channel, then it's only going to get worse. So this is my heads up. And, and I'm just suggesting accelerate your prepping. Uh, if you're contemplating on it, maybe start taking more steps towards it. Um, that's all I'm su suggesting, and I am too. And I'm not suggesting anything I wouldn't be trying to do myself. Uh, we all have different scenarios, and we all have different uh, – we're all in different age brackets. Some of us still have our kids. Some we don't. Uh, some of us are close to retirement. Some aren't. Um, we all have a different scenario, but we can all try to do something to make it better when things switch, uh, when it happens. It doesn't matter – if it's going to, it can't go any other way. And I highly recommend you look at the video I put in the description below. So guys, <laughs> sorry I had to do this, but I'm so frustrated. It's like, I can't seem to get this video uploaded. And so I just took out that whole segment and put this in. And if it's, if it's here, then I made it. So please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And uh, I'd love to hear your comments below. And uh, tomorrow will be this our normal stuff out there, ch you know, checking eggs and doing hydroponics and all that stuff and and uh, uh, and so forth. But uh, the main reason we do all what we do is to try our self-reliance. So that's what we're talking about here. So, guys, have a great day. Thanks for listening. Please do a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you later, guys. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Ranger Rob, country leader. Ranger